Well, it's official for the fourth time ever and the second time in a row the USA women's soccer team won the FIFA World Cup title. They shut out the Netherlands and took the game two to nothing. Good evening. It's good to have you here with us. I'm Tim Pham. We want to get right to the game scene across the world, so we'll hand it over to sports reporter Karthik Venkatraman to break down the game. Hey, Karthik. Hey Tim, how's it going? There was so much pressure on this team to get it done and they rose to the occasion. They controlled possession from the start of the game to finish and once again showed why they are the best team in the world. Let's get straight into how it happened in the second half. Drama intensified after this original no call for a foul. Alex Morgan takes a hit to the shoulder and after review it was ruled a penalty and a penalty kick. So Megan Rapino takes it, makes it America up 1-0 over Netherlands in the 61st minute. Later in the second half, Rose Lavelle makes it 2-0 on this one right here. Right past the keeper, seals the victory. USA doesn't lose a game in the World Cup and wins it all. I don't know, we're crazy. That's what makes it special. Um, we just have no quit in us. We're so tight and we'll do anything to win. Listen up. Can we pay the women's team the equal money to the men's team now? Honestly, maybe even more than the men. The women's team has filed a couple of lawsuits since 2016. And on March 28th of this year, the U.S. Soccer Federation and the women's team tentatively agreed to pursue mediation after the World Cup. Well, the World Cup is over and something needs to be done. The team just won the tournament for a fourth time. That's half of the women's World Cups that have ever happened. The men's team's best result is third place. And that happened in 1930. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, U.S. women's soccer games have brought in more revenue over the past three years than the men. And according to Nike, the 2019 women's home jerseys are the most sold jersey of either gender ever in a single season. But despite all of that, this is the reality. According to U.S. soccer collective bargaining agreements obtained by The Guardian, the women's team contract gets each player about $260,000 in bonuses for winning the World Cup. If the men had done the same thing in the 2018 World Cup, well, they would have made $1.1 million. If you want to talk equality, that ain't it. It's time to pay the women's team the same money or more than the men. Moving on, for those of us who couldn't make it over to France to watch the game, there were several local watch parties that united everyone in all of the excitement. Creme 2 Shayna Wall Tower tells us how many people celebrated the victory overseas right here in our area. Yeah, the swinging doors and other sports bars in the area seem like they're just the places to be today. This place on the inside is packed and barely any spots left. With all the excitement that's on the inside, it makes it seem like as if you were in France watching the game in person. Okay, maybe not quite France, but this crowd is coming pretty close. Managers here at Swinging Doors say people were making reservations as early as 7 a.m. and the game didn't start until 8. But once game time came, every stool and booth in this bar held an excited fan ready to cheer on the U.S. team. And it didn't take long for things to get loud. Fans from both nearby and farther away. I uh, couldn't miss the game before we drove home. Cameron McCallum and his friends came to Spokane from Seattle for the 4th of July, but they extended their trip a bit to make sure they wouldn't miss this game. I had to wake up early and uh, pack up the car and drive up here, and it was cool to see so many excited folks out here. And the turnout made the experience more lively with all the support for the women's team. <laughs> I didn't expect that many people here because I've been here for Premier League games and it's not as much. So I was really happy to see a lot of people here. And once the clock reached its last second, the room somehow became even more united and celebrated yet another U.S. victory. You just feel good and patriotic and I think that the energy in here was really cool. Everybody was high-fiving each other and was just kind of joining together. I think it was a really cool place to be. We dominated the, the whole game, so I mean, it was, I'm, we're really glad that we got within a Spokane community to, to check the game out. In Spokane, Shana Waltower, Crempton News.